FBI investigators may have a new lead in the San Bernardino terror attack. A team of divers is scouring the waters of a lake near the site of the shooting. Now, it's possible that a missing hard drive belonging to those shooters, Saeed Farouk and Tashfeen Malik, may have been dumped in the water before the attack. Los Angeles FBI Assistant Director David Bowditch said the search could take days and investigators could still come up empty-handed. We have indications that at some point they came to this park. We are building a timeline of everything we know to ensure that we can retrace every step they took. At the end of the day, we, came up, we may come up with nothing. We just don't know yet. John Blackstone is at the lake where the divers are working. John, what's the latest right now? Well, the divers arrived early this morning, went back into the lake. They seem to be look, making a very careful, almost inch by inch search of the bottom of this lake, occasionally coming up with uh, bits of trash, bits of garbage. So far, we haven't seen any indication that they found anything significant, uh, that hard drive that they're looking for here. But uh, these are difficult conditions, and <clears throat> as the FBI officer said, this could take days. Yeah, we've been looking at the surface of that water, as I know you have, from your vantage point and from overhead. It certainly looks like that water is uh, thick with mud uh, and a very difficult place to search for these divers. I mean, they've been at this for a number of hours, haven't they? They've been at it since, uh, since early this morning, and they were in the lake for much of the day yesterday. Uh, as I said, this could go on uh, for days. We've seen two divers in there this morning. As I say, they seem to be going in a very small area, inch by inch. And, John, um, we were wondering here if your cameraman would be able to pan over to his right a little bit so that we could see how large the surface area of that lake really is. Um, I'm kind of wondering, looking yeah, at them. Tom is going to... Yeah, let's yeah, take Tom a look at that. Tom is going to take a look now. Take a look uh, closer at the lake here. <clears throat> it's a fairly this large is, uh, surface area. <clears throat> you know, how long does it take divers, I wonder. And, and this is guesswork on your and my part both, I suspect. But in terms of how yeah, you get but, through <laughs> the bottom of that, right? I mean. No, I, yeah, I would, I would think it's a lake that uh, under normal conditions, you might come and walk around it in uh, 15 or 20 minutes. It's not, a, it's not an enormous lake, but to imagine... Uh, searching here for a hard drive that's, you know, no more than a few inches across uh, in mud and in uh, uh, very difficult conditions. Uh, it's a big job. Right, certainly is. Um, so, John, do we, have they said anything, have they told us anything about why they went to this particular lake? What led them to look for the hard drive there? Or are they remaining mum on that point? On the day of the shooting, there are reports, indications that the shooters may have been seen in this park. Uh, earlier, FBI investigators searched the park for any evidence that the shooters had been here, for any evidence they might have left behind. The one thing they're looking for in particular is this hard drive that's missing from a computer that was in the shooter's apartment. Having searched the park and found nothing, the last place they had left, left to look is in this lake. Now, I don't know if you know the answer to this, but as somebody who spilled liquid into their computer once and they told me that they couldn't, you know, recover anything from the hard drive, I'm wondering if they even find the hard drive, are they going to be able to pull any information off of it at all? I think the FBI appears to have some techniques that we don't have when we spill a glass <laughs> of water onto our laptop. Uh, we, we've seen that they have recovered cell phones uh, that were apparently destroyed, that the users thought were destroyed, but in fact, they got information off them. So I think, you know, until they go to work on this, on this hard drive, if it is ever found, uh, we won't know how much they can find from it. Right. Okay, John, I know you're there. You're going to be watching this um, uh, as it continues, probably for quite a while, according to the FBI. Thanks very much for updating us on, so. uh, on their efforts at progress out there. John Blackstone. Well, CBS News uh, has learned that uh, the friend uh, of Saeed Farouk is not going to face any charges today. That is the latest we are hearing, a latest update today. Uh, Enrique, Mar Enrique Marquez not facing any charges.